Hey everyone, welcome to another English grammar lesson. Today we're going to be covering commas with dates. So typically a full date will have three parts, a year, a day of the month, and a day of the week. So a complete sentence with a full-on date might look something like this. He was born on Sunday, July 21st, 2019. Now, all we need to do is separate those three parts away from each other so that the date actually makes sense. So, what day of the week is it? Sunday. So comma after Sunday. And what day of the month is it? Well, it's July 21st, so comma after 21st, or 21. And this leaves the year, 2019, all by itself. So, we're good. Now, one mistake I see people make all the time is that they try to put a comma between the month and the day of the month, like this. And the reason this is wrong is because it's not July 21st, as in two separate things. It's July 21st, one thing, one item, so it's gotta be together. And everything works the exact same way when you only have two parts of a date. You still need to separate them with commas. So for example, today is Tuesday, comma, September 12th. Or I was born on February 4th, comma, 1993. You still need to use a comma to separate the individual parts of a date. The only exception to this rule is when you don't have a specific day of the month, but you just have the month itself along with the year, like this. The settlers arrived in May 1540. Now, in this situation, we actually don't need a comma because it's kind of like saying May of 1540. So one more time, when you have just the month and the year, no comma. When you have a specific day of the month, though, you would need a comma but with just the month itself, and then the year, no comma. Let's try a few. The package is supposed to arrive on Tuesday, April 14th. Okay, take a look. You've got a day of the week and a specific day of the month. So, we should have a comma after Tuesday. Three more. Our flight is scheduled for October 9th, 2033. Okay, so we've got a specific day of the month as well as the year, so, comma after nine. Couple more. War broke out in August 1712. Okay, so what do we have here? Well, on this one, we have a month and a year, but we don't have a specific day of the month. And this is the situation I was talking about earlier. When we have just the month and the year, not August 20th or August 31st, just August with a year, we do not need a comma. Last one. Your order will arrive on Wednesday, January 26th, 2041. Okay, so I see a day of the week. I see a specific day of the month. And I see a year. So all we need to do is separate each individual part away from each other. And we do that with commas. Here and here. Cool. Well... Whether you came here for a refresher or are just now learning this stuff for the first time, I hope this video helped. Be sure to check out the free practice down in the description, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.